friend. Welcome to Claiming Simplicity Podcast. I'm your host, Monica H. Baker. Are you feeling tired and overwhelmed as a mom working paycheck to paycheck, wanting to get out of debt and enjoy your family? I was too. And I realized if I was going to put God and family first, I had to stop spending all of my time at work. So I created a simplified life plan that allowed me to get out of debt, scale back my career, and still be able to live fruitfully but with more purpose and time than ever before, and I never look back. Inside this podcast, you will learn how to simplify your home and finances, learn simple routines, personal development, and connect your faith. I'm so grateful you're here. If you're ready to create a simplified life that you dreamed of, you are in the right place. Hey there. I just want to remind you that if you want to start making simple, non-toxic items and food from scratch to save money, but you don't have much time, you are going to want to sign up for the waitlist for our program to teach you how to make these items in a short amount of time to increase your family's health in simple steps. The link is below, and I'm so excited for you to learn these simple homestead skills. Okay, I have been making my laundry soap for years because it's simple and cost-effective. But I was so excited that I just learned how to make my own washing soda, and that is just as easy, so I wanted to share that with you along with several other uses for it. I started making laundry soap over 20 years ago, and I had to quit because it was gunking up the hoses, so my husband didn't want me making it anymore until I found a good recipe that didn't use the shredded bar of soap. I have been using this recipe for quite a while and it seems to work really well. But this one is a powder and not a liquid like my other recipe. It's just a half a cup of Epsom salt, one and a half cups of aluminum free baking soda, one and a half cups of washing soda, one quarter cup of sea salt, and 20 to 25 drops of essential oils. And then I store mine in mason jars, which makes it really easy. I just shake it up and it works really well. And now to reveal the simple washing soda recipe. I can't believe I didn't know about this before. It is just a layer of baking soda on a shallow dish or pan. Put it in a preheated 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. Cool it and store it in an airtight container. Can you believe that is all it is? Me either. I could have been making this for several years. I like to buy baking soda in bulk because there are so many uses for it in the house and we also use it for the goats. But now I just wanted to give you some other uses for the washing soda. You can use it for a pre-treatment. Just make a pre-soak solution by dissolving like a half a cup of washing soda in a gallon of warm water and that effectively loosens the dirt and removes the stubborn stains. You can use it as a water softener If you live in an area with hard water, add one cup of washing soda to your load at the beginning of the cycle because hard water can make it difficult for your detergent to work effectively. Washing soda softens the hard water. It does work best with warm and hot water cycles though. You can use it as a grease remover. It can remove stubborn grease and grime on ovens, stove burners, pots and pans, Just apply a paste of washing soda and water to the affected areas. Leave the paste to work its magic for a few minutes before scrubbing and rinsing off the surfaces. You can use it as a descaler. It removes the mineral deposits and hard water stains that can make your kitchen look dull. Mix a paste of washing soda and water and apply that to your tiles and then scrub the surface with a brush before rinsing the tiles with water. In the dishwasher, You can use it for cleaning, so just sprinkle washing soda in the detergent dispenser to help clean and deodorize the machine. This is really helpful if your dishwasher tends to build up odors over time. You can keep your trash cans smelling clean and fresh by sprinkling them with the washing soda to absorb the odors. For coffee or tea stains on your mugs, you can just soak your stained items in a solution of warm water and washing soda to make them look new again. Washing soda can also be used for a carpet cleaner to help remove stains and odors. Just mix the washing soda with warm water until it forms a thick paste and apply it to the stained areas using a clean cloth. 
Let it sit for a few minutes before rinsing it with water and blotting it dry. To keep your drains unclogged and free of odors, mix one cup of washing soda with hot water and pour it down the drain. Let it sit for a few minutes and then flush it with hot water. And then mix a quarter cup of washing soda with warm water to use it to scrub down your outdoor furniture. It'll remove the dirt, grime, mildew, leaving the furniture nice and clean. If you don't want to use harsh chemicals to clean your grill, soak the grates in one part washing soda to two parts of water for a few hours and the grease will be easy to remove. Washing soda also works great to absorb stains on the garage floor. Just sprinkle a generous amount of washing soda over the oil stain and add sprinkles of water until a paste forms. Allow that to sit for 24 hours and then scrub it with a soft brush, rinse and wipe it clean. I hope you are as excited as I was to learn about making your own washing soda. It's just something that we use quite often and I had no idea that it was just baking soda. That's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed these simple tips.